<laughs> Let me do it again, okay? Hey everybody, it's Janae Kness. Welcome back to Lectin Free Solutions. Today I have another heart, heart happy and brain happy recipe for you for Plant Paradox and Applewe for people. You know, I always say that, but I want you to know that it doesn't really make any difference what plan you're following in Plant Paradox. All of the recipes that are ma I make are good for everyone. It's just they're particularly geared for those of us with heart disease and ApoE4. All right, so today um, I have a really fun recipe to share with you. This is an Indian style green chutney fish recipe that my friend Sandy helped me come up with. Um, I think you're really gonna like it. The flavors are delicious. And um, the fish that we're using is mahi-mahi. It's a wild caught mahi-mahi that comes from Costco. Let me just show it to you quickly. It comes, this is the bag that it comes in. It's frozen and it comes in pre-packaged four ounce containers. Each one of these has 25, 25 grams of animal protein. So for my family, 20 is about the max that we eat every day. So Tom and I will generally share one of these, but for most of you, somewhere between 20 and 25 is gonna be fine. You'll be able to eat the whole thing if you want. Um, so anyway, that being said, you wanna take Today we're going to have three because my mom's going to eat with us. And um, I thawed three out. And the first step for this recipe is to make a simple marinade. And the marinade, this is, this is the fish um, already marinated. It's been in the mixture for an hour. At this point, we're going to take it out of the marinade. We'll be putting it on parchment paper and putting a ch green chutney paste on the top of it. But first of all, let me run down the ingredients since I wanted to get ahead so you didn't have to wait an hour while I made the marinade. It's very simple. So what you're gonna have is one tablespoon of grated ginger, um, the juice of one whole lime and the zest, one tablespoon of fish sauce, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of sriracha. You can adjust that up and down. Uh, if you don't like anything spicy, you can leave that out. If you want it spicier, then you can add a little bit more. I think I used about a teaspoon and a half. So anyway, this has been marinating for a full hour, and now we're gonna make the chutney. And the chutney is also simple. I've got in the food processor, two cups of cilantro, one cup of mint, and then now we're going to add to that the juice of half of a lime, a tablespoon of fish sauce. This is a little bit more, I, this is actually more than I want here. I want about, uh, about, uh, about a teaspoon of sriracha. That one had a little bit extra in it. I want five cloves of garlic, whole cloves of garlic, a tablespoon of fresh ginger. And then this is the other product I wanted to share with you. I buy this at the Asian market and it's a grated fresh coconut product that you'll find in the freezer section. Now for this recipe, you can, you can actually use a fresh coconut if you wanna to go to all that trouble. I don't like to do that. I would rather buy this frozen and take it out as I need it. And I'll just thaw, thaw it out, take what I need, and then I stick it back in the freezer. It lasts for a really long time. And it's great for all kinds of recipes, cooking, uh, um, cookies, cakes, all kinds of things. So anyway, for that, we're going to also, for the paste or the chutney, we're gonna do a half a cup of grated fresh coconut. And those are all the ingredients for the chutney. Now quickly, I'm going to run this through the food processor to, to, to make a paste and we'll be ready. Let me just do it one more time. Oh, I wish you could be here to smell this. It is so aromatic with that mint and cilantro. Oh, oh, I forgot the conversation about the cilantro. If you hate cilantro, which I know some of you do, either use all mint, use basil, and you could even use uh, parsley. It, it works fine. It's not as good as cilantro, but you know, if you don't like cilantro, what are you gonna do? Okay, now we have a beautiful chutney paste. I'm gonna move this so um, Tom can get a good shot of it in the camera. Okay, now let me take the blade out of here and I'll show you how easy this is. Now, this recipe is 
uh, really forgiving. I'm going to make these fish uh, uh, portions up into um, parchment envelopes. And we're just gonna put them on the parchment. Put chutney on the top. All right, so now we have the chutney on the top. There are lots of ways to fold this parchment paper. I'm just gonna do it very simply. I did, um, I'll show you one later that I um, was a little bit uh, fancier with. You can actually cut the parchment paper into a um, heart and you can crimp the edges and it makes a really, really nice presentation. I'm just gonna fold them over simply like this because I'm not gonna use the parchment as a presentation. This is what, this, if you wanna use it as a, as a presentation on the plate, this is what you wanna do. You want to cut your parchment, fold your parchment in half, cut it into a heart shape, and then you'll start at one end crimping and you just fold and crimp and fold and crimp and fold and crimp, and then you end up with a nice little package like this. So you can do vegetables in that, you can do fish, and then that's all part of your presentation on the plate. But I'm not going to do it that way today. So um, let's get these over here. All right. I wanna get any of this turmeric on my shirt. So what I started to say is I really prefer this made into the parchment because this, the fish steams in here really nicely and it's just very tender and uh, sort of succulent. But when, I, when we first tried this recipe, we did it both ways. We did it in the parchment and we also did it in the, um, just on the cookie sheet. And really it works just as well on the cookie sheet. It's a little, the, the fish is a little bit firmer, but it's not, if you don't feel like doing this with the parchment paper, you certainly don't have to. It'll still come out really great. You don't, you don't have to worry about doing it. Get a little, that one's got a split in it and I don't want it to break on me. Okay, there we go. A little more chutney. Oh, this just makes me want to eat it out of the bowl. It has such a good flavor. All right. That's all there is to it. We're just going to pop these in the oven. They're going to bake at 400 for 12 minutes. And what I made to accompany them is um, the uh, curried cauliflower that uh, you'll, you can find on YouTube. I've made that for you in the past. So those two go really well together. And um, when we come back, the fish will be all ready to be plated and um, I'll show you how good it looks. Okay, everybody, 12 minutes and we're done. Can you believe it? You know, one thing that I should tell you that I did, I, I was thinking, not thinking when I did this, when I, when I made these packets, I flipped, the, uh, I flipped the edges under. I really didn't want to do, that, do it that way. So I, turned, I just folded the ends back and twisted them this way because I didn't really want it to leak out on the, um, on the cookie sheet. So let me open one of these up. I'm going to show you what it looks like before we plate it up. I, like I said, I didn't make these beautiful. I didn't make beautiful packages because I'm not going to serve... I'm not going to serve them in the parchment. I'm going to take them out of the parchment to do that. Here we go. The nice, beautiful, succulent piece of fish. All right, I mentioned to you that I made the curried cauliflower rice to go with this. So what we're going to do is plate this as the base of our dish and um, I brought it over here so you could see what I did. I had a little bit of that chutney left over and I mixed that into the curried cauliflower rice. Oh, is it really, it's really, really tasty. So let me, let me go ahead and get some of this in here. Move this out of the way. And we're going to put one of these beautiful pieces of fish right on top of the curried cauliflower. We're going to serve that garnish with carrots on either end. Okay, everybody, our 
beautiful green chutney fish is all ready. It was a very, very fast meal to make. It's so aromatic and so delicious. And the best part is it takes hardly any time to make. I hope you'll give it a try. I know it's very difficult for those of us with heart disease and APOE4 to keep our animal protein low. And it's imperative to have really delicious recipes to help us maintain that. You know, just a, I'll only eat a half of one of these. I know Tom will too. And for us, with, that, with the delicious flavors, it's more than enough. It makes you completely happy. So anyway, I hope you give it a try. I um, want to ask you to please like and subscribe if you haven't, if you have already. Thank you so much for the continued support. It really means a lot to me.